Hey, what's up, guys? This is just a new jailbreak from Ritz now, and I'll post the download links in the description. And let's get started on this new jailbreak for the 3.0. All right, and when you download the Ritz now, you'll get this Ritz now uh, application. First, you gotta browse the IPSW file that you downloaded. I'll post the links in my description, like I said. And now it will say processing firmware, so you gotta wait for that one. All right, now click next when it's done, and you should get this uh, pop up. And then it says, please select which options do you like to have. And since the only option is install Cydia and you want that, make sure it's checked and press next. And now, in this part, you got to be careful here because there's no waiting time. you got to be ready. And make sure it's turned off and it's plugged to the computer. And make sure iTunes is not on. So now, once, once those both things are like done with, click next. And I'm telling you guys, be prepared because you can always click back, but you got to make this worth the effort so now hold the power button for about three seconds hold the home button as well and hold the home button together for 10 seconds and then release the power button but still hold the home button for 30 seconds now keep holding it until it shows another pop-up and there you go it says waiting for DFU mode stage and now you should hear sounds from your computer and it should start jailbreaking and on your iPhone it should or iPod touch it should show a white screen for like a few seconds and then go to um, installing jailbreak data so once that's happening you're pretty much done you did the jailbreak and now you're ready for Cydia and all the other Cydia apps so I'll show you what it looks like so you guys won't get confused this also works for the Mac version if you see my video from the past before this video uh, you'll see it's for the Mac users using the Ponich tool the Ponich tool but you can use this too and just to let you guys know there's no installer or IC yet you gotta wait for that one around they say July and you gotta wait so you, you only get Cydia and that's it but that's pretty much what you need anyways so it's, nobody really uses installer anyways uh, from now on I guess so that's pretty much it. That's how you install the 3.0 on the Windows and Mac. All right. So yeah. Oh, okay. And this guy's, it's between the jailbreaking process, and so far it's saying downloading jailbreak data. And as you can see in my screen, it says uploading RAM disk. So that means it's pretty much going pretty well. So don't worry, you guys. It it will work for you, and you can never mess up. So yeah. Okay guys, in this uh, video clip I recorded, it shows that I'm on the Apple logo screen and it's already finishing up for the jailbreaking process, so everything's pretty much okay. Alright, it's done uh, finishing up, so I'll try to turn it on, hold on. Let me just pick it up. It's getting pretty slow here, so, oh there we go. I just slide open and right, there you go there's Cydia right there without installer like I told you now when you open Cydia it's gonna tell you to uh, select one option or the other and it's gonna restart again see it says there will automatically close when done and I already tried out and this is this is me recording my voice on the side quarter because the camera I'm using has bad voice quality so I'm sorry about that and I'm gonna do other videos of me you know showing you how to open SSH and all that 
and on the new 3.0 so I'll post an, another video showing you how to do that so expect that today or maybe tomorrow um, I think it went pretty slow for Cydia on the 3.0 it seems pretty slow so far I will do a, maybe another video on the jailbreak for quick pwn but I don't know that's too much trouble okay like I said there is gonna say user hacker or developer and I just chose user it's gonna load the data it's gonna take a while so don't be uh, impatient it's downloading packages looks pretty much the same as before you get the same apps like you did in back in the 2.2.1 Now it's gonna once it's done reloading, it's gonna ask you to upgrade essentials or whatever however you pronounce it, and you gotta restart your city again.